most math imposed on us is totally worthless. Well, the I stands for an imaginary number. Okay, hold up. There are imaginary numbers now. Are there unicorns in the next lesson? Can someone please teach me something useful, like how to balance a checkbook? Cupid Stun said, As a teenager, I used to think grown adults who remain frustrated with minimal employment were just not trying hard enough. Then it happened to me. I was stuck in a job I hated, paid no better than McDonald's, but working or traveling to work most of my life and wasted my youth. Your username is an interesting anagram, because it's stupid cunt. Wasted my youth is most of school. For example, I never needed to learn imaginary numbers. What a total waste of time and energy. And my, my hatred of the system isn't as great as it used to be. I remember being, I remember so many nights down the drain because I was trying to solve problems that it didn't need to be solved because it's not my thing. It, I, there's no need for me to learn how to solve those problems because I have no intention of going into a career that requires them, ever. And I know what I wanted. I knew what I wanted. So for society to say, no you don't, you're too immature to know, shut up, it's my life not yours, so you can go to hell. Achille del Rosa, Achille, Achille del Rosa said, I feel the same about school, I'm learning more alone than ever learn going every day to the school. Dude, you still can do what you did not do as a young adult, do it now. I am doing it now at age 62. Wait, last time I responded to you, I forgot what the thread is about. Now I see the context, and you were defending the evil system, saying it's all right. You were forced to learn stuff you never needed in all of your life because you can have freedom after you leave the prison years later. Wow, so merciful, just, and wonderful. First of all, there is no guarantee that everyone will live that long. So you are guilty of being an accomplice to the teenagers who commit suicide in part because they have no free time, in part because of the shit you defend. Secondly, by your logic, I can steal your money as long as you can still buy a burger with the remainder. Is that justice to you? Thirdly, because lists aren't lists unless they got at least three items, I guess. I forgive you for being an enemy of truth and justice, but you have other victims, millions of them, and on Judgment Day, the majority will not forgive you. School is useful as a baseline, unless you have a clear goal of what you want to do. No, it wasn't useful to a great degree. May as well force all kids to take ballet then. Don't forget indoctrination these days. Yeah, like into atheist shit that my channel exposes. Well, imaginary numbers are quite useful in electronics. I know they have uses. That's irrelevant to my life for me to know how to deal with. I have no intention to have a career in creating electronics. Just in consuming. <laughs> don't worry, people. There are still people who are going to consume just because I don't. Doesn't mean that you're going to lose out nationally. Yes, school is useless, but learning, trying to learn 40 different languages, including Latin, is useful. I roll on the floor as I laugh. I didn't say anyone should be forced to learn Latin, nor that it is generally useful. So you commit a strong and fallacy, lying about my position. You didn't take a class in logic, ROFL, as if you're superior to me, conceded imaginary numbers defender with his imaginary victory. When I typed that, I laughed. But that was a long time ago, not just one second ago. I love Latin, but I won't force others to learn it because I'm not a narcissist like you. My own daughter has a Latin name I gave her, but I won't force her to learn it. I do want her to learn Spanish and Basque as well as her mother's Asian language because that's her heritage. Like a Japanese forced to learn Japanese. At first the kid would find it boring probably, but they would appreciate it later because it's their cultural and racial her heritage or inheritance. Also Latin would make me pretty cool. Anyone who learns Latin automatically, automatically gets cool points. And I would enjoy learning it even if I couldn't speak with anyone. I just love that epic stuff. And French is useful for getting a lady. Don't read further. School is important for basic information and socializing. Just because you're a high school dropout doesn't mean everyone else should be as well. <laughs> I didn't drop out of high school. I have a bachelor's degree in Spanish from Florida International University. And I had a professor of Spanish from Catalonia who put on gay porn in class one time to show you just how ridiculous the system is. He put on gay porn and I walked out. Later, I was told others followed my example. Schools are libtarded strongholds for indoctrination. They're more about that than learning. 
and they're also businesses. For example, in one in one class, they required you to buy like three textbooks, two on average, I think it was. One textbook cost like a hundred dollars, and how much of the textbook did they use in a semester? Like six pages or less, which you could easily find the info on or the disinfo on in Wikipedia for free, fast. So school is generally not always generally a joke it's just it's perpetuated because it brings in the money and because it makes good goyim non-thinkers who just believe whatever they're told parents can teach oh, that's me speaking so I'm not going to mock my own voice parents can teach basic info and socializing no need for your dumb system you should have taken a class in logic to learn not to commit your not smart ad hominem fallacy you prove my point that going to school doesn't make you smart Again, I originally laughed when I typed LOL. Call me Gary. All right, I will. Your opinions have no worth. I want to read more from you. Call me Gary. That is such an ignorant statement. Really? How you say that the math that you use in everyday life is wasteful? No, I didn't. You should pay attention before making accusations. Counting money is elementary. You don't even need middle school for that, or any school. Your parents can teach you. Moving the goalposts there. Your side is always dishonest and never has a good argument. Thirteen years minimum, we're in school. Seventeen if you get a four-year degree. That's like a fifth of a lifetime, man. YouTube doesn't always notify me of comments, so your heinous one hasn't been read by me until now. You are saying it's alright to steal as long as you steal only a fifth. You are evil. You will go to hell. Who's next? And I'm not joking. Many people. Oh, he's he's correct. Oh wait, no, I dislike. Many people would say that college years were the best times of their lives, and not because of their studies, but because of camaraderie, which you probably spelled wrong. I never use that word, so I had to check. <laughs> no one knows everything, man. Just because you're an English teacher. I once had an English teacher. I asked him, "What does poignant mean?" And he got so nervous. He got so nervous and and tried to dodge the question. I wasn't trying to humil humiliate him, I just thought, maybe he knows, if he doesn't, that's fine. Anyway, uh, people act as if they won't be crushed by the debt, so they, they, they pretend that their years in college were good. Also, because many of them are fornicators and abortionists who try to escape consequences and responsibilities, partying like they're going to get away with that. If ballet were forced on all, many would say it would be the best class in their life. So let's force you to do a split, break your legs. It's a system we cannot break. Since the royal feudal times, we the elite always win. In the mortal life, no. Sometimes you get beheaded. Learn history, a subject with much more relevance than your ridiculous imaginary numbers. And in eternity, the rich like you go to hell. You are not a winner. You are an eternal loser. Repent of your siding with tyranny or pay the ultimate price. Oh, and I noticed you ran away with my question. Secondly, by your logic, I can steal your money as long as you can still buy a burger with the remainder. Is that justice to you? Looks like money can't buy you good arguments. I think it's more academically apt or relevant to teach imaginary numbers as part of the math curriculum than ballet, and there already is PE, which could be questioned academically, but I approve of it because it was kind of fun and I think healthy. But I don't know at what point out to what degree or amount of time you were taught about imaginary numbers. I understand your anger or frustration. I feel the same way, and I understand we may have different interests. For example, I might complain about other subjects in the same way you would, just not math and chemistry because those were my favorites. Though I did hate ha having to make proofs in math all the time more than just about anything. You're moving the goalposts from the issue of teaching people what is relevant, people as in all people, not just those focusing on math, to merely the math department. Then you commit this hypocrisy. There is already physical education. One could say there already are numbers. No need for imaginary no numbers. I understand your anger. If you did, you wouldn't defend the shits who stole much of my youth unless you have no compassion. You're their accomplice. I forgive you, though. Them, too, but I hate oppressors, and you are one of them. It wasn't just imaginary numbers, of course. It was many classes and many things in classes where some things were actually useful. Schools were and are for indoctrination, making people good cogs of the machine, not people who question the machine. That's why the Athenian democracy murdered Socrates. He taught youth to question the system. The system is perpetuated because it brings profits. My younger sister teaches math in the U.S. where they import Filipinas because no one wants to teach those rap crap listening monsters. Not a lot. Schools are more like zoos than education centers. Anyway, she defends the evil system because if she were to oppose it, she would be undermining her own position as someone who teaches math to people who likely don't need her class unless forced to to get a degree from the degree mill. No, it's not. You clearly didn't finish school. You talk like that. No, description for primary school. There are more important aspects. You clearly didn't finish school. 
I rest my case that you don't know what you're talking about, you narcissist. For example, I never needed to learn imaginary numbers. What a total waste of time and energy. School does not teach you imaginary numbers per se. School teaches you how to study, how to acquire new skills through training, and how to do things which are necessary but not fun to do. Did school teach you to be so vague as to not actually be saying anything of substance? That's a skill for politicians, not for me. And school did teach me imaginary numbers, how to deal with them. Because life doesn't have enough problems, you need imaginary ones too. Necessary? No. 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 They're even called imaginary. Yes, and the point of it is to make you exercise your brain, to make you imagine more abstract concepts than hammering a nail in a piece of wood. Even if you will never use complex numbers ever again, you hopefully will use your brain for other complex things. One, my brain exercises more when I look at a woman, so a class for looking at beautiful women would be more useful. Two, your opinion as to what should be forced on others is bigotry. Three, I should choose whether or not I practice shit I don't need. You shouldn't dictate my life. Mind your own business. A smart person would know those classes aren't needed for most. You should exercise your mind because it's weak. You don't think for yourself. That's not brain, that's a different body part. Evidently, you don't even know what that word means. No, children obviously aren't qualified. No, I don't use another body part for looking at women. I don't mean sexually in this case. You missed the point because it proves you wrong. You arbitrarily decide to impose stuff that has better alternatives and are a hypocrite because you are for some arbitrary classes, but not all of them, like ballet and looking at beautiful women 101. You claim I don't know the meaning of bigotry, but you're lying. See, two can play at your game of making accusations with no rationalization included. Your narcissist bigot pretending your opinions should dictate the lives of millions. Again, mind your own business. Don't tell me what I need. You don't know me nor what I want in life. Your opinion that children aren't fit to decide their fate is tyranny. Some children are smarter than some adults. So how come the smart kids don't have the right but the dumb adults do? Not to mention they have parents who can decide for them but the system doesn't care. Unless they have to homeschool them. Which I plan to do with my daughter, by the way. You're again inconsistent. You are also not fit to judge when you don't even know millions of people's situations with your one-size-fits-all approach as if everyone were the same with the same situation. But no, we're all different. So your preferences don't matter because we are not you. Onanism, a pseudo-intellectual term for masturbation, which I didn't bring up, you're projecting. Eating candy has more value than parabolas for most people. Candy tastes good. The taste of injustice is bitter. While schools do teach you some fundamentals, the ultimate goal of showing off so much worthless knowledge is to seek specific individuals. I'm going to use the UNO reverse card. You just gave an argument for forcing ballet onto everyone. How are you going to find a ballet dancer if you don't steal countless days of everyone's life to find one? For people trying to defend the tyranny of imposing relatively worthless math onto everyone, you guys do a poor job at logistics. If you wanted to find the right person for you in the dating website, you would put, it can be anyone with a pulse. That really narrows it down. You're part of the problem. It's not their fault you want to do an easy job instead of one that uses math. Don't try to force everyone to limit their options in life just because you think school is a waste. You're the one limiting my option. I had an option to study what I wanted, but instead I have to waste my time learning your stupid shit. That's controlling and awful. You could have emancipated yourself and dropped out. A job in your own place as a kid. Oh, that's really ideal, but reality doesn't work that way because people demand that you have a stupid paper saying that you have a certain level of, of familiarity with shit that you don't actually need. No, the society doesn't work this way. You need a stupid paper for most jobs. If you already knew everything you needed, I did not say this. You're a liar. You never tried to force everyone to limit their options. You need a class in English. And here, that's a typo. Obviously, God, the putos who impose the tyranny are going to hell, and all their disgusting accomplices. Good riddance. Now, let's solve this problem, shall we? How to eat this pizza evenly? Now, if you have a circular pizza measuring 66.6 .6 millimeters times 9,001 nanometers divided by 9,001 nanometers plus 666.001 quantum units plus an imaginary number of the factor of negative 0.9876543201, but in a time loop that distorts space itself to the fifth degree of the hypotenuse perpendicular to the segmented foot long furlong hardening thoracic girth exponentially in diametric isometric inversal relation towards the pi diameter of diana circumference header in weather conditions comprising wind velocities approximating the mean defecation in gas form of the average denizen of Idaho's northeasternmost urban center consisting of at minimum 64,348 denizens lacking blood alcohol levels of an eighth of a double pi minus half of one but with a convex nano cherry on top then how much money was lost by opportunity cost measured from the initializing of utterance concerning the sentence for the purpose of quest to the very end which is this ex exhalation well oh no we can't eat this pizza because we need to use math first in order to divide it perfectly. Nonsense. Stupid shit. I hate the system. I hate the world. And I hate most of you. Bye.